I want you to just close your eyes now and just relax. We'll take some nice deep breaths. And imagine in front of you the most beautiful big orangery, like a great big greenhouse beautiful white frames, glistening glass. You are awed by the beauty of this building. And you just feel a real urge to go inside. So you start walking towards it. You can already start to feel that warmth the closer you get. And you just step inside. The door is open. And you get this amazing sense of calm. Just take in the smells, take in the warmth. And then notice over to your right, there's some empty shelves with some seed trays with just compost in them. And the more you look at those trays, you start to feel yourself getting smaller. And you get smaller and smaller and you can feel your body changing and you're starting to become a beautiful little seed and you just hop over the edge of one of those trays you know which tray is right for you you can see out the corner of your eyes other people are doing that too other little seeds of all shapes and sizes they're all climbing over into those seed trays. Do you know what seed you are? Do you have a scent? If you don't, that's fine. If you do, that's also fine. You can feel the compost underneath your little seed feet. And you're just going to shuggle down, get comfy. And you really easily just start to sink into the soil. And you feel comfortable because you know this is where you're meant to be. And you just feel this amazing sense of comfort. And you feel so safe. And you're so aware of all of that nourishment in that soil, in the compost. Oh, there's a bit of water that you just feel drop from above and it really quenches you. You feel the warmth from the sunshine and you know that the conditions are right for you and that you are exactly where you're meant to be right now. So you're comfortable. You're in that soil. You're able to breathe perfectly, but you've got that amazing warmth from the sun and the moisture around you. And just want you to sit in silence for a little while and just really feel what does it feel like as you swell, as the seed within you swells. You feel that potential building in you. of course the soil that starts to move slightly around you and you're aware that the other seeds they're starting to swell too some look like they have swollen more some only just started but you're going to feel yourself really start to swell with potential ready to burst you feel that sun above. It feels like it's calling you up. It's making you want to reach up. But you're still there at the moment with your feet in that soil, giving you that nourishment. You feel more movement. As you swell further, the outer husks 
of your food break away just as they should as all of that potential, all of that new growth starts to break through. And again, you're aware there are other seeds doing the same. Some are already poking out of the soil. Others further down, deeper. You'll know your own pace. Feel it. Where are you now? And just pause there, noticing how you feel. Do you want to burst up and out? Or do you feel that you want to take your time? I'll be silent until I know that you're all ready for the next stage. I am your patient gardener, just watching you, enjoying being in the beautiful orange room, waiting for that potential. I know that you'll pop your first shoot through the soil when you are ready. And your leaves are magical and they bring me such joy to see Those first tiny shoots and leaves, they are all seeing, all sensing. That's it, as you're ready to just pop through the top of the soil and look around, noticing the other seedlings, the likes of tribes. And as you feel the sun's warmth on your leaves, you spread them out further, taking in all of that magnificent warmth from that sun. And you wiggle your roots. So they're now giving you all that nourishment that you need from that compost. that beautiful preparation, all that patience, it's paying off. There was a time for you to be that seed in the soil and a time for you to germinate. And there is now a time for you to bask in the fact that you have raised yourself above the soil and you are ready to come into the world. Now I know that some of you are starting to wonder what's next, what you'll become, which flower you'll be, which plant you'll be. We will get there. That feeling you've got of wanting to move forward and to know all of those things is exactly what will help you to grow on a human level, that's what we would call gumption. So again, just take your attention to the seed tray that you are in. Remember, you are all seeing. There is a part of you which might see some other plants higher. Just notice. Notice how you feel about that. Are you okay with that? Are you accepting where they are? Or are you thinking something else?
your feet deep down. You do accept that where the other seedlings are, if their soil nutrients are different, they might be a different seed. They may have been a different age of seed when they went into the soil. The sun hits them differently. They might be looking at you thinking, oh, I wish I was going at that pace. Now, I'm coming into the orangery as the gardener, but I have my helpers. These are all beautiful, angelic beings. As I look at you, and by the way, all the other seedlings, I just feel joy. You feel the joy in my voice as I see you all that excitement, all of that effort, the planning that went into getting you here. Look at you. You are so gorgeous and I am so grateful to see what you become. Now my helpers, those beautiful angelic beings, they get busy doing everything with care, gracefully, tenderly. They give you water when you need water and feed when you need a little bit more to keep you going. They make sure the windows of the orangery are open to let fresh air in when it's warm and that it's just warm enough for you at night. And just be still as you see them doing all of that, just going about their business, just tending for you and taking care of you, for that's what they are here to do. You might feel some warmth, you might feel some gentle weight on your shoulders. All of this is your angels just letting you know they're there. nothing quite like feeling cared for, supported, helped to grow. You didn't tell them to help you, you didn't tell them what you needed, they just knew instinctively for which of you needed help, what kind of help you needed. You know that you can trust these angels to help you. And I stand and watch in silence as they go about their work. Again, I invite you to feel them, feel yourself grow. There will be times you're tended for, sometimes you're left to grow. There's days, there's nights, let it all happen. Just don't question, it's all natural. I shall just hold some silent space for you again to just really feel into this beautiful energy as they look after you.
all this time you're growing. How many leaves do you have? How tall do you feel? Do you have a bud? And again, you know there are other seedlings in the seed tray. You like the connection every so often when there's a breeze, your leaves just bump into each other, but that's okay because you're all growing together for a big purpose. And as I said, you are all seeing, all sensing, you look around you look around that beautiful orangery and out through the doors where you see the most gorgeous garden with a fountain in the middle and borders that seem to be planted with such precision, such perfection. And you know, you know it's time You planted your seed, you allowed yourself to germinate and pop through the soil and grow and to be tended. You know it's time for you to be transplanted into the garden. Just breathe. Because those angelic gardeners, they love their work. They want to help you flourish each and every one of you they love and they want to use and they want to help and you are now given a choice to make there are two ways that you can get out into that beautiful garden into that patch in the border that's just got the sun shining on it calling your name You can, if you want to, just gently tug your roots up from the seed tray like feet and gently jump over the edge of that seed tray, climbing down that shelf, using those roots to walk to the garden, find a spot, and then try to put your roots down putting yourself in the ground where you think you want to be. And that's what many of us do in our lives when we're just trying our best. Well, the other option, you could allow those angelic gardeners to help you. Let them gently tease your roots out from that seed tray supporting you, popping your roots into the palm of their hand as they carry you to the best spot for you to flourish. They dig the ground. They prepare the hole where you are going to put those roots down. They pour in some beautiful nourishing water for you They make sure that your roots feel supported. They tap that soil in around you. They compact it so that you feel secure. You feel that warm spot from the sun and you know that you can grow. And if you're going to be tall, they are going to give you the stakes that you need to grow against, to support you. 
So I want you to just take some time in the silence to choose. You may have already chosen. It's whatever feels right for you right now. Because those gardeners, they'll tend to you regardless of whether you take yourself or whether they take you. So just pause now to choose and carry out your choice. And I will be silent again while you take yourself through that journey. Those angels, those gardeners, they are still tending for you. You're really starting to flourish, depending on the seed you are. You may even be flowering and growing bigger and bigger by the day. You see so many people walking in that beautiful garden. Some of them, they walk on by noticing other plants and that's okay because there are those other people who marvel at your beauty and they stand there and they cannot help but look at you in awe for how you grew from that tiny seed to the beautiful flowers or plant that they see in front of them right now. Some of them start to ask the gardeners, can I have some seeds from that plant when the time is right? the gardeners so you will have to ask the plant itself as you get used to children running past and just waving their hands against your leaves and your petals giggling in delight whilst the adults look at you smile. You know this is you. This is your purpose. Every day you change. You grow a bit more. You ripen. And those seeds they're getting ready to burst. And again, you can choose. 
and take a minute to just feel the awesomeness of the impact that you can have, that you grew from one tiny seed into this beautiful plant. And you are able to spread so much more joy with all of those seeds of potential. And yet you didn't know that when you were just that seed in that seed tray, you were just focused on being present, on being in that soil, on bursting out through, on growing, on being looked after. You did not know what you were capable of. And now you're starting to realize. So you can choose. You can choose to give some seeds to somebody who just brushes their hand against you. You can choose to let the wind carry the essence of you to somewhere new. Let those gardeners collect some. Or even just allow and see what happens. See if they just drop to the ground below you. If you like where you are now and you want to carry on that journey, then those seeds will do that. And just allow it. And breathe as you feel all that you have accomplished and how you've grown. Whatever happens with the seeds that you are producing, that's your next project. That's the next thing you want to do, which is why if you love where you are right now, just let the seeds drop. They'll regrow. Let the angels, let those gardening angels carry the seeds and for them properly so they can then hop back into the seed trays and start the cycle all over again. You always have a choice. And you can just bask in that sunshine in that beautiful garden for as long as you want. There comes a time as the weather starts to change that you know you're onto the next part of the journey, that you feel entirely comfortable this time in letting those angelic gardeners do whatever they need to do because look at what they have done for you this time around. Look at how they've supported you. Look at how they helped you to flourish regardless of whether you took yourself out of that beautiful orangery into the garden or whether you let them take you they will help so they collect the seeds some of them for some of them you might have given away and again you feel the comfort as you're in the palm of their hands now you are eternal. You are part of everything that is in this whole universe. There's no end. It's just a different stage. It's just a different part of a cycle. You're safe in their hands as they go back into the orangery and they find the perfect place for you to stay over the winter until the whole process is ready to start again. And just like that seed and that flower, you can choose your next step. You can choose to notice the people around you, but there's no jealousy, there's no fear. 
there's complete acceptance. That we are all on our own journeys and our own way of doing things and our own place. The perfect place. And you've had a taste now for how much easier it feels to have those angels on board to help you. So I'd like to invite your human self to just silently ask the angels, please help show me the way. Please help me to be patient. Help me to remember when I need to be that seed that has to germinate before I can burst free, even though I want to shoot up through that soil. Help me to flourish. Help me to notice all the things that make me thrive. I'm going to ask you, what is your equivalent in your life of light and of nourishment and water and the food that's in that soil? What in your life now gives you that same level of nourishment? Or who? Or even where? Because all of those people, those places, those things, you need to bring those into your own orangery. All of those other plants that were growing alongside you, everybody in the room, they are all part of your tribe. And we know what it feels like when we feel safe and able to be ourselves completely. And why not get help for that when the help is there to be given? You are your miracle worker. The choices you make are yours to make alone, but you can ask for the help to guide you in the right direction, to let you know when something feels right. And it usually just flows. You'll find yourself being swept away, carried away in life and enjoying it and just not thinking about it too much. And it may be hindsight that makes you realise that was the right choice. But there are always other options. And those angels are asking me to tell you to be gentle with yourselves, to not feel that you have to choose every single thing you want to do. It's just about the next step. And they will show you the next step. And you may never understand the end point because that can change. You might get halfway along a path that's originally the right path for you and decide that actually you're going on a different one because you will gain those skills and confidence. But please know you are safe and you are supported and you each have an angel stood right behind you right now with their hands gently just on your shoulders. I feel one of them is stroking one of your hair like a mother would. And 
just gently stroking your back. Literally, we've got your back. Let's say, we've got your back. because they want to see you flourish and grow. They won't give up on even the tiniest seedling. They will still make sure that that seedling gets exactly what it needs to grow. But the seedling needs to be aware that the gardeners are trying to help. Because if you were a seedling in that seed tray and the gardeners were trying to water you to help you grow and you shuffled away from that water so you didn't take it up, you wouldn't germinate. And perhaps you need to ask the angels for help to give you signs so that you know when they're about. They'll be feathered. There'll be that sensation of hands on your shoulders. Sometimes they smell. Those funny coincidences where you think about calling a friend and suddenly there they are, phoning you. And I suspect that friend that you're thinking of is one of the people that is your form of nourishment. Now those angels, they want you to be gentle with yourselves and to realise that you can turn into anything you want to. And they're there still around you, whether you want to ask for their help or not, they're there just waiting. They'd rather help you. And sometimes we can want to control where we're going. And sometimes they have other ideas. And that's what we say, we surrender. And you'll build that up over time. The more you work with your angels and build up your trust, the more you will start to believe that you are fully safe to surrender to whatever needs to happen to take you forward. Complete with your cycle for this particular time of flourishing, of growing. And when you feel ready, I would invite you to just become aware of your surroundings, the floor under your feet, the feel of your clothing or the blanket. And only when you're ready, when you feel safe to do so, to open your eyes and if you wish to journal about what you have just discovered, what you've been told, we can do that together. Know that you are safe and loved and protected and guided. Always.